five years ago everyone spoke about Internet of Things and hardware devices and wearable technologies. Right now it's much more crucial to understand how exactly these data that are collected with the help of devices can actually be used. Building information models allows creation of digital copies of entire buildings or processes related to these buildings. The newest developments in the technology also enables simulation of the entire life cycle of the building. Just think about it. Uh, creating the model of the building right now, you already know how the building will be managed and operated in five years from now and how much it will cost and what technologies can be embedded in the construction and operation of the building so it's, it becomes efficient and sustainable in the future. Most common smart building system or BMS are using cloud and Internet of Things technologies uh, to provide security and access control, occupancy planning and occupancy measurement. Smart energy management and metering has been another big area of big data application. Some of the most popular technologies that uh, tech savvy building managers and developers are adopting right now are smart building lightning, which makes the building responsive to the way human beings interact with it, as well as adaptive temperature control, which is another uh, currently a very popular area of the big data and uh, hardware devices application. The market for smart buildings is growing rapidly. Corporate occupiers are under enormous pressure uh, to reduce their occupancy costs, especially in locations like London or Hong Kong or New York and increasingly San Francisco, for example. And the data collected uh, from sensors and different devices in the building can help these companies reduce their footprint. The London market is getting increasingly mature and sophisticated and there are a lot of competition for existing buildings from the newer ones, the ones that are already equipped with the smart building technology. Landlords really need to keep up with the latest developments and uh, think about what their tenants uh, will be needing uh, in like five years and ten years from now. The space is no longer seen as uh, just physical space, it becomes technology and service and uh, with it comes uh, the increasing variety of the data that are being offered to tenants as service, such as connected device, smart workplace technologies. Energy efficiency and environmental regulations play a very important role in developing big data in smart buildings. New York is taking the smart city concept much further. Hudson Yards is a massive regeneration project with a 20 million square feet strategic west side location. It became the largest testing ground for applied urban data science and smart city technologies. This landlock project that includes residential and commercial functions and public spaces is already nicknamed Quantified Community, in addition to already familiar sensor and Internet of Things technologies. Hudson Yard makes a really good use of the very wide array of data, such as, for example, it collects information on greenhouse gas emissions and airborne pollutants in real time and also measures pollution with tools like hyperspectral imagery which is very sophisticated data processing based on x-ray technology there are a lot of different sustainable features in the project these features include cogeneration plant energy management systems that are able to calibrate the use of energy across the grid from household meters. Uh, they gather information that provide real-time real reading and also uh, send information through the thermal loop that ties together each building's central plant, which basically means that the buildings are able to exchange heat and chilled water. Hudson Yard will really become one of the most technologically advanced neighborhood in the United States, which actually makes me want to go to New York right now and see it with my own eyes. The big data is increasingly shaping and transforming the real estate and construction industry. What is clear is that data-driven and evidence-based solutions and strategies increasingly inform design, construction and operation of buildings as well as cities.